In each of their own realities, Superman and Captain Marvel are without a doubt among the most powerful and well-liked characters. It is simple to understand, given that they have each spent a long time trying to improve the world in some way. Although both are heroes, they are also some of the most unstoppable figures in their own universes due to the nature of their abilities. Because of this, it is intriguing to consider how well one would do in comparison to the other. Remember, the outcome of the combat between Superman and Captain Marvel is unarguable, and my decision is final unless I'm completely wrong, in which case please let me know in the comments, don't forget to leave a like. With that, tonight we are going to witness the most anticipated match for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Because of his Kryptonian ancestry, Superman possesses a diverse set of abilities. The Man of Steel possesses a variety of abilities to aid him in combating crime and saving the world, including flight, super speed and strength. Captain Marvel's Kree DNA gives her some of her own special abilities, but Kree DNA isn't nearly as potent as Kryptonian. Superman clearly boasts a greater range of abilities than Captain Marvel, making him a clear winner in this regard, even though both have advantages and disadvantages. Although Kryptonian DNA is more potent than Kree, the two are roughly comparable in terms of how they can be used. Superman and Captain Marvel are among the most powerful characters in their respective universes for good reason. Both characters have the potential to be just as beneficial or destructive as the other, therefore it's a good thing they're both on the moral high ground. Despite the fact that Superman has more superpowers, although they have different actual powers, they are roughly comparable in terms of how they use those powers. Despite being very powerful, neither character is the most intelligent being in their respective realms. This is not to say that the two lack smarts, they are both extremely intelligent, just that neither character uses their intellect excessively in circumstances. In contrast to heroes like Batman or Iron Man, Superman and Captain Marvel do not obsess over particular minute or devised master plans that account for every possible circumstance. Superman is frequently shown as having a higher IQ despite the fact that he is on par with Captain Marvel in terms of intelligence. In his strength duel, Superman is more likely to defeat Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's powers work in such a way that she is virtually always at full strength, whereas Superman can only gain strength by spending more time in or near a yellow sun. However, Superman would outperform Captain Marvel in most situations. Of course, this means that Superman can lose strength, particularly if he expels too much energy at once. Superman was also shown bench pressing the whole weight of the Earth at once, implying that he is more powerful than Captain Marvel. While Superman's maximum lift limit is 66.67 quintillion tons when unaffected, his limit was discovered to reach 200 quintillion tons in Superman All-Star when he was supercharged by being in close contact with the sun. He did, however, feel like he could do more, demonstrating that he was not generally exerting himself. Captain Strength, on the other hand, when in binary mode, Captain Marvel can lift 200 tons. She has, however, destroyed a planet when in binary mode. Despite the fact that he defeated her in their first combat, she vanquished Iron Man while wearing the Hulk Buster armor, but sadly she has her limits. She can only move at the speed of light by entering binary mode, and with a single shot, the sentry dispatched her. On the other hand, Superman has defied the laws of time and space during a battle. Survived the detonation of the source wall, he flew so fast that he covered the entire universe in 60 days. Because both characters' abilities rely on absorbing energy, they can only function as long as they have access to a source of power. Depending on the circumstances, they may use their power supply for days, or only a few seconds. Given that Kree DNA has benefits that Kryptonian DNA does not, either persona may win depending on the situation. Given that no credible technique exists to forecast the outcomes in this category, it is safe to say that both personalities are equally powerful and robust. Superman may be stronger than Captain Marvel, but Captain Marvel is unquestionably the better fighter. Captain Marvel has received combat training as a result of her military background and all of her interstellar experiences, even though she is not the most competent hand to hand fighter in the Marvel Universe. Of course, Superman can still punch, but Captain Marvel has repeatedly demonstrated that this is insufficient. Captain Marvel is not to be underestimated despite the fact that she has flaws. Despite being one of the most seasoned superheroes, Captain Marvel has had much more experience as a character than Superman. Despite Captain Marvel's a complicated past allows her to connect with other characters in the Marvel Universe, as well as real world fans. Of course, the Man of Steel has visited several more worlds, species, 
universes and so on, and has fought a wide range of foes. While Captain Marvel has clearly been through more as a character than Superman, that doesn't mean Superman isn't relatable. Captain Marvel has a lot more plot ideas that have yet to be explored, even though Superman has a big advantage in terms of time spent serving as a hero. Because of his extensive tenure as an overall character, Superman has easily accomplished far more in the DC Universe than Captain Marvel can hope to achieve in the Marvel Universe. Superman has overcome an enormous odds, nearly always with a grin on his face, despite being one of the greatest superheroes of all times. Superman's accomplishments are a large part of what makes him such an inspiration to millions of people outside of the pages of the comic books, whether it's through the villains he's helped bring down, or his own feats with his own powers. Given his track record, it's easy to see how he could have even more advantage over Captain Marvel. In the end, both characters are extremely equal adversaries. Superman has a better chance of winning between the two, but Captain Marvel isn't completely out of the picture. She still has a good chance of defeating the Man of Steel. Depending on the circumstances, things could go her way. Given the nature of his skills and everything he has accomplished over the years, Superman is probably the more probable of the two to win. With that, I declare Superman victorious. Well, that's enough rambling for one day.